All right, so the way that this is set up, I have the black wire, the white wire coming from the receptacle. They're coming up. That's these two right here. Those two are gonna go on my voltage out. Then, from the, the plug that's gonna get plugged into the wall, that's these two here. They're gonna go into my AC in. Two ground wires. That's it. They just get pushed down in. Just push it off to the side. Make sure it's not touching anything. I'll throw a wire cap on it. So we're all done. Everything's all situated and set. We got the outlet on the side where we can plug our element into. We have our plug that we can plug into the wall. And we have our control knob to set the temperature. The only thing left to do is to test it. Okay, so as you can see right here, we're sitting at a 102 we're sitting at 102 as you can see there so I'm just what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slowly bump it up until it starts kicking on and you should be able I don't know how well you can see it but you should be able to see bubbles start forming I can already see bubbles forming on the element itself. And then as, as the temperature rises, we should start to see them coming off. And I'll see if I can get you close in and see if you can even see the water itself kind of moving. So at this point, we just have a few bubbles on the element. I can see a little bit of bubbles coming off. You can see the water around the element starting to move a little bit and you can see the temperature starting to go up as well so it is working let me see if I can get you guys in close enough to see the actual water moving can you see the water moving around the element see the uh, if you look right around the element you should be able to see the water kind of moves, swirling around. And you should be able to see the uh, bubbles coming off of it as well. Again, as the temperature rises, we started off at 102, we are now at 108. Let's bump it up just a little bit more. Now we're at about three quarters of the way. The temperature's going up. The bubbles are getting a little faster as the water around the element itself is starting to swirl. Oh uh, yeah, that's getting warm. You can see the water kind of swirling a little bit. The temperature's starting to go up a little faster. So I think the only thing left to do at this point it just go full blast. I have really good control. You can see the water starting to kind of boil off out of that. There we go. Yeah, I can hear it. That, that thing's taking off now. Let me turn that down. All right, so now we know it works. Everything was working perfectly. One thing I am gonna suggest, with these SCR controllers, you can get the cheap ones, five, 10 bucks. If you do, I would suggest you get two. They're gonna burn out. 
This one I think was around 20 bucks. It has the fan on top, which blows cold air across it, which helps keep it cooled down and everything like that. I probably will get a fan and put it on the backside to blow, so as the air, cold air blows in, the uh, warm air can blow out. This board, it's not going to stay on this board. I'm going to take it off the board. I only put it on the board for testing purposes, that's it. I do want to tell you guys one more thing. That is, when you attach these to your brew kettle um, for making beer and wine, or if you're, if you're attaching it to a still, whatever, whatever you're doing with it, you have to have a way to attach it to your brew kettle. Typically, you do that with ferrules. Ferrules, you have to order them online. Most places don't carry it. Uh, depending on the ferrules that you're getting, they can be a little pricey, and you still have to weld it to the pot. A cheaper alternative, and that is these guys. This is a one inch copper female threaded end. Just like your stainless steel, you can silver solder this right in. And this will thread right on to the end of your element. So all you do is you, you get your pot. I just drilled a hole right through the side of it and I silver soldered it right to it. It's gonna do it for this video, guys. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, share this video, and subscribe.